28. Any medical issues that I should know of? Not that I'm aware of. How long are you here? Have you got your return tickets done? Uh, I haven't bought any return tickets yet. Yeah. That's good. Just going to see how I feel first. And so you want me to take care of the beard and uh, mustache, is it? Yeah. Have you come alone? Yeah. Okay. Do you already know the design of the beard that you want to have? Uh, I think so. Okay, cool. Show that to me, please. Sure. Do you guys have Wi-Fi? Yes, we have Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, we can get... She can get the Wi-Fi. Meanwhile, let's check the doorway area. Sure. Yeah, I never have any like care loss or anything. Nothing, and you don't have any issues. No. Okay, right. That's good. Have you had any treatment for this before? No. Oh, okay. uh, so it's like this. Pretty much for every beard and uh, mustache transplant patient, that's the one. So how uh, it generally done is, we will design the beard and the mustache as per what you desire. If you, in certain areas, we might say it's not a good idea if you have very uh, different shapes. But otherwise, as a normal shape, we will do. Then we harvest the follicles on the back of your hair. Yeah. What we generally do is we harvest single follicles and put them on the front line. Yeah. And then we harvest double or triple follicles and put them in between to make it look dense. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's all done in the local anesthesia, which means you're not going to sleep, uh, but it's done in the operating theater. So we have okay. good lights, and we generally have a team of four or five members uh, that will be doing this. Yeah. So we'll have one anesthesiologist who's going to be monitoring the whole parts and everything else and monitor that while we do the procedure. Uh, initially, it'll be like this in this position while we harvest. So the plan is like this you'll have to have a clean shave. Then we draw the exact thing that you want, then we plan the follicles that we need, then we go harvest 5% more than the yeah. planned follicles, then we go and transplant it. Uh, in your case, it might take like about 4 or 5 hours, yeah. the entire procedure. Uh, you can have your breakfast and come, that's what we generally do. Then it should be done around about lunch, a little after lunch. Okay. Um, then you will have IV line, so there will be a small prick on the hand. There will be a few small injections we keep on the back of your head. That's about it. This should be okay. Yeah. The next thing we do is, um, so we put some bandage and we let you go to the hotel. Day three, we will need you to come back. When we remove the pack, just clean up everything, make sure everything is yeah. good. And then you're actually good to leave. Yeah. But if you do want to hang around for a week more or something, you're more than welcome. But the thing is, it's pretty warm out here. Yeah, it is. And I don't want you to venture out in the sun after transplant yeah, exactly. because I can kill or can cause not yeah. good effects for the follicle. That's yeah. something we really have to remember. Because this time of the year, uh, you know, uh, here is 35 degrees and 34 and all of yeah. that, so you shouldn't do any sightseeing. Any sightseeing that you want to do, you want to postpone by 10 days post surgery or do it before. Yeah. But not in the first week. You're not going to have any pain. You will feel comfortable, yeah. but it's not good for the. How long will the redness stay on the face for? Three days. Three days. Usually. Yeah. Uh, but the fact that the follicles are put in and the fact that people can notice something is being done can be there for as long as 10 days to 2 weeks. Yeah. So let's say you go, uh, you fast forward 15 days from the day of the transplant probably people are not going to know that you've done anything at all. Uh -huh. The new follicles will grow out roughly the same way your existing follicles will uh -huh. grow out. So it's just going to So will it appear different than the hair that I have like currently? Like if I just like shaved it a bit, will it appear No, different? as it grows, it's not going to look differently. Okay. Uh, and after a few months, see the full results will take about six to nine months. Mm -hmm. Because you know, the hair follicle cycle is such, it's not going to show up immediately. You will see immediate results, but for the results to really mature to get the final result, 
that can take a year, but nine months is what we normally tell patients. What makes it like take so long? Because the hair life cycle is such. Uh -huh. Because you know, you can pluck out these follicles in a receiving phase or in a telocytic phase. So depending on that, it takes a longer period for the eventual result. But once the follicle is taken up here, it's not going to die. Yeah. It's for life. Because we're going to take the permanent hair follicles. Yeah. Right? So once it's in, it's in for life. Uh -huh. um, that's about the surgery. If you have any questions, I can answer them for you. Mm -hmm. And then, since we're taking the hair follicles from the back of the head, will it potentially like prevent growth of hair back here? No. No one is ever going to make out or find out that you lost any hair from it. Okay. Everything. So it won't cause any like hair loss? No, 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 not at all. Okay. Got it. Not at all. Perfect. All answers done? Uh, let me check my... You can show me your picture also. So yeah, I'll be fine with those. Um, so when can I like, shave afterwards? Uh, we usually say a month. A month? Yeah, okay. so maybe a month and a half is also good enough. Okay. A month for sure. Got it. I think that's, that's everything else. And instead of shaving, you can trim. I okay. recommend trimming the first couple of times. Okay. So you don't go very close to the skin and yeah. eventually you can start doing that. Yeah. yeah. You can use maybe number two size or something okay. and trim up. And then actually, if you like to grow your beard, then I mean, that's easy. <laughs> yeah, so can I just like start growing it like right away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You can start growing it right away, no problem. Yeah. Alright, so what we're going to do is, uh, you need to talk to my executive, he's going to schedule the surgery time for you. Okay. He's also going to do the rest of the paperwork and then after that, once you know the time, then you can come on that morning. You usually start in the mornings. Yeah. Uh, and that's then we finish. Nice. Yeah, that's what we're going to do it. So you can have a good proper break. So maybe you stay, you start staying somewhere you know, I'm staying in the one that... Uh, we recommend it? Yeah. Where was that? Uh, Anyway, this is a small town, everything yeah. is nearby, so... No, 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 no. But it's like a nice one down there. You're comfortable? Yeah. That's yeah. that's what I... Yeah. It goes through all the food. Yeah. Because, you know, you can't get dairy bending otherwise. This is... Is it better dairy. just to not eat at all, or...? No, no, no. It's good to eat. Okay. <laughs> but go, like, don't try street food or... Okay, yeah. Slowly. Yeah. It takes a while for you to get used to the Indian spices and the total change of your food thing. Yeah. So I won't want you to go and try everything, especially before surgery. Go slowly. Yeah. So initially, if there is a KFC here, you can try stuff that you're familiar with initially. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then slowly get more adventurous. I'm just giving you an example. Yeah. I mean, uh, so that... Because we've had patients who got into trouble before surgery. You should have a stomach upset tomorrow with yeah. yeah. surgery. That's yeah. such a nice thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's fine. Right. So we can talk about that or schedule that. So you can go with. We also do a basic blood test. I didn't mention that. Just a basic thing we will do. So we will do all of that for you today as well. Okay. And then you pretty much free. I think we will train you in about half an hour, forty minutes, and then you will come back. What is the blood test for? Routine blood test. Okay. Because see, it's still a surgery. Yeah. So every surgery. Huh? So it don't bleed out or something like blood Not blood only because of that, also because we want to make sure uh, you're medically fit. Okay. You're not having any issues. We even run a HIV, HPCG test because yes. you know it's an OR. So yeah. the moment you go to the OR, like we do procedures on the dental surgery, we don't do a blood yeah, yeah, yeah. We do the operating theater, we have to do basic bloods. Yeah. Just part of the protocol. Makes sense. So you're fit, so I mean, okay. just uh, terrific. <laughs> Alright, All right, I'll see you again tomorrow, I guess. Alright, right. the schedule is good for you. Did okay. they tell you the service for tomorrow? Yeah. Alright, so I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. Pleasure.